What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team to showcase for you guys today. Today, we're showcasing a Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team that also features Choice Scarf, Galarian Darmanitan, and Choice Band Urshifu. You guys already know deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button and join the jeans community we upload basically every single day on this channel so again hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on my content but let's get started here in the top left corner with the one and only zassian one of the best restricted mods in series 12 it's got interpret sword alongside rust sword as item and ability so every time it hops into the battle it's getting that plus one on that attack stat we got iron head we got close combat and then we got substitute and protect for this thing's move set Right next to him is our second restricted mine. That is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex. And I really like the moveset on this build for this Calyrex because of the Imprisoned and Trick Room. It really helps us counteract it and just uh, get after the battle that way. We got the As One ability alongside with the Focus Ash. Then we got Astral Barrage, Expanding Force, both first stab moves. And then the two other moves that we already mentioned is Imprisoned and Trick Room. Really, really liking this moveset. He can hit hard like a truck and he can also counteract that Trick Room, which is going to be very, very good if we go up against any Trick Room team. Middle left is going to be our Life Orb Defiant Thunders over here. Wild Charge, Fly, Super Power, and Protect. Fairly normal moveset for this Pokemon, but this Pokemon really is going to be able to thrive after that Defiant is proc. If I can get that Defiant proc with like an Intimidate or something, we'll go plus one on attack and we'll get Thriving out from there. We will get Thriving out from there because I can just Dynamax this guy. With that Life Orb, he can basically just like sweep battles left and right. So, really like that Pokemon. Really good in the Dynamax form. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be our support mana. It is going to be Whimscott with the Prankster and the Eject button as its item. We got Tailwind, we got Moonblast, we got Helping Hand and Taunt. Really great moveset for Whimscott. You got your hitting move with the Moonblast. You got the Speed Control, obviously, with the Tailwind. Helping Hand, I really like because it's good for a Pokemon like Calyrex. It's even good for a Pokemon like Ky Kyogre. So if you have any Pokemon with like a double hitting move, I feel like Helping Hand is really good on Whimscott. Then we also got Taunt, you know, to taunt opposing support mods. Really liking this Whimscott. You guys are going to see it a lot. Bottom left hand corner is the star of the show. We got Darmanitan over here. Haven't used this Pokemon in so long, so cannot wait to rock out with him and get work done with him. We got Gorilla Tactics alongside with the Choice Scarf as his item and ability. Then we got Icicle Crash for stab, Super Power for coverage, Rock Side for coverage, and Flare Blitz for our final coverage move. Really likes Darmanitan. He hits so hard, we can also Dynamax him if we want. So we'll see how the battles play out and see what we do with him. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Choice Band Urshifu. This thing hits like an absolute truck. I love this Pokemon. Super, super strong and really fast at the same time. We have the Unseen Fist as its ability, so it can hit through protects. And then the moves that we're rocking with is Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch for first turn priority. And last but not least, our coverage move is going to be Rock Slide. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, I don't even have to say it. The run code is chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Zassian, Calyrex, and Chewy Scarf Darmanitan team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into battle number one for today's video, going up against a Groudon and Shadow Rider Calyrex team. That also features, obviously, Venusaur, and then he has Torkoal for Trick Room, and then, you know, Regilecki and the Grimstarl. So I don't really see him bringing Torkoal because it's not Trick Room. So I feel like he only has Torkoal in case he's going up against a Trick Room team, so I'm just going to say he's not bringing Torkoal. He's bringing Groudon, Venusaur, Calyrex, and then the fourth Pokemon, I think he's going to bring... Ah, uh, that's tough. He can bring either Grimstarl or Regilecki. It really is tough, but how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Choice Band Urshfu is going to be really, really good up against that Calyrex. Just can do a lot of work with the Shadow or the uh, Sucker Punches and kind of roll off from there. We could go with Calyrex of our own. I do indeed like this Calyrex. I do like this Calyrex, but Women's Scott probably has to be the lead here. Really good with Speed Control. We can eject button now. I am really liking it. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to also go with... Uh, I'm going to go with Calyrex here as a lead. Then Zacian, and then bring Choice Band Urshi Ursh in the back. Right? I do like that. Do you really like that? Actually, I don't know. Do I like that? Do I like that? Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's withdraw all you guys. I have 10 seconds left, and let's leave Thunderous alongside with Calyrex, bring Zacian, and then last but not least, bring Urshfu. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. I really am liking that. So we're going to rock out with that. We're going to get rolling here. I wonder if he's going to try to pop a Trick Room. He could, he could pop a Trick Room with Calyrex. The thing is, we have Imprisoned. I don't see many Calyrex with Rock and Trick Room, you know? I just don't really see it too often, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not going to worry about that. But before we even start Battle Number 1, you guys got to let me know for question of the day. What Pokemon do you want to see get a regional form of Gen 9? Considering we're using Guardian Darmanitan, it only fits the subject. You guys let me know your guys' answers in the comments section down below. Me, personally, for Gen 9, I would love to see, like, a... Uh, a Gen 9 extra. I feel like that could be awesome. I feel like that could be really, really cool. I definitely do think that could be cool. So definitely let me know you guys' answer. But uh, he's going to go in with Groudon and Grimstarl. 
A round of grip snarls, a little scary. I could Dynamax and I'm thinking of Dynamax going into the airstream, getting off some damage, chipping away that way, but he probably has a rock move. Mm. Rock move can do me dirty. But I really want to. Oh, we already outspeed. Already outspeed. So we could go into a lightning here. Try to get rid of you, but I think airstream's going to be. Just airstream up. Or, I, you know what? I feel like a knuckle could be good for us. We said attacks that. Then we can kind of just go into an Astro Barrage if we want to. And just chip up some damage. Is that my play? Is that my play? I'm liking the boost on the Thunderous. I really am liking the Max Knuckle boost on the Thunderous. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Because we already outspeed both of them. Both my Pokemon are faster than both his Pokemon. Except for, you know, Pranks to Grimstrong. That move's going to go first all the time. But we'll see. We shall see what this dude does. We shall see. We already have speed, so I might take speed next turn. Really depends. But I really want this attack boost on Thunderous because maybe I can, you know, just dump on the Grimstrong next turn. If I chip up some damage with Astro Barrage. We'll see what he does. He's gonna go for a trick. He's gonna trick me. Take my focus ash. How dare you? What 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 are you giving me though? What are you giving me? You give me a lagging thing. Okay, so we're a little we're a little slower. We are a little slower, and we still outspeed everybody. <laughs> we still outspeed. That is gorgeous. We're gonna drop a nice little ash barrage. Tip up a little bit of damage. God dang lagging tail. Max Knuckles gonna fly. So Max Knuckles gonna fly. He's gonna do a decent amount of damage here. Chip up, but more importantly, we're gonna get that huge attack boost. So attack boost is out of it. Nice, lovely attackers. You know, for a heat crash, does that miss? Oh, it can't move. What? Shook it head and it could not move. I don't know what that means, but we take those all day. <laughs> we take those all day. But from here, we're definitely going to go for this airstream. We're going to finish you off. And I think we should go for another Astro Brush and we try to take out this Groudon. With it all day. He's going to trick me. So now he's giving me a focus ash. He's going to take my life orb. That's fine. You can have my life. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. He takes my he takes my life orb. We're gonna, we're gonna go there. Well, he was actually choice in the trick. Oh no, he's not choice. We had focus ash. That's fine. He wanted to give me that focus ash instead of the uh, life orb, and I'm with that all day. We still pick up chaos. We're plus one on attack now. I'm liking that. We take out the grim Snarl all day, and earthquake's gonna fly here, and it doesn't affect thunders, but it's gonna deal some damage with Calyrex, and Calyrex soaks it up. We love it, Calyrex. Calyrex is gonna go next, and Astro Barrage is gonna put. Astro Barrage, can we KO with this? Super close. Get out of my face. Hate this game. Hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> this dang game. Laggy Tail's doing us dirty. Um, I think we might go for another speed boost here. It really depends what Pokemon he brings out here. Because I want to get off as much damage as I possibly can on this guy. It's going to be Calyx. I'm going to Lightning right in. Actually, do I Airstream or Lightning? I'm not too worried about that Pokemon. Like I said, we have Choice Bit and Earth Food chilling in the back end. I am liking that. I, I kind of want speed, though. I think speed could be really good for us. Yeah, we got we got to get a little bit of speed on the board because Calyrex is super fast. We need it. What's called might be able to outspeed him already. Thunderous might be able to outspeed him with plus one. I'm 179 uh, base or my speed's at 179, so plus one puts us at about about half more than that. So yeah, my my Thunderous yeah should be fastest. So we're fastest. Probably bring this thing down to Sash, right? Sashing up, sashing up. Calyrex gets another speed boost, and I wonder if my Calyrex can outspeed. I wonder if it can with the lagging tail and plus two. Pick and outspeed these guys. That'll be good. But I doubt it, though. Yeah, I doubt it. Yep. Because Astro Barrage is going to chip up some mean damage on the Calyrex. And I feel like Heatran... Well, not Heatran. <laughs> I feel like Groudon goes for a Heat Crash now, right? Let's see what he does. Grimnade's getting boosted. I know my boy's fast on the field, which is gorgeous. And he's going to go for the Heat Crash. And what does that mean? It shakes its head. Somebody let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know. I would love to know. I would honestly love to know. I would love to know. But uh, from here, we could just go into a... Uh, bump, 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 bump. Do we go into Zashia? What do I want to go into here? I think we just go into Choice Band here. Choice Band Urshfu? Are we choice to a Sucker Punch? Probably our best play, right? I think it's our best play. I like to play. I do like to play. I mean, I know my boy outspeeds, which is good. So I might just... uh. So I don't really want to lose stats here, lower my attack and defense. I think I'm just going to wild charge into this thing because I know we outspeed and then just sucker punch into you and choice ban into that uh, sucker punch too. I do like that. He's going to protect. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. That is totally fine. Sucker punch comes over here. Oh, uh, because now we still have my lovely little thunder. So the thunder is going to be able to outspeed pretty much anything that hops in the battle, right? Anything that hops in the battle, my boy can outspeed. Even a cooler for Venusaur, right? And even if he does bring in Venusaur, like, 
He turns Irma server unless he has the Heat Rock on. But he still has Dynamax. I do have to remember that. It's going to be Reggie. It's going to be Reggie. A little crazy how we didn't bring Venusaur. Didn't bring Reggie. So I'm just going to go into Wild Charge. He's probably going to uh, Choice or not Choice Dynamax here. But I feel like Regilek can do a crazy amount of damage. I feel like Urshfu can just like hit this thing really, really hard with a Sonic Punch. Do not know why. I just have a feeling because, you know, Choice Band Urshfu is where it's at. He's going to Dynamax it. Last ditch effort coming in here for Battle 1. Can Jeans get us started off strong? I would love to win this battle, and then second battle, I can just roll out with Armantan. Just start showcasing him. Because that thing hits hard. He hits hard for no reason. He hits hard for no reason. But that can real attack is then he outspeeds pretty much everything with the Choice Scarf. It's just a lovely little Pokemon. A lovely little Pokemon. Let's see how this one plays out. Your Sucker Punch is going to fly. Yeah, he, look at that damage on a Sucker Punch, dude. On a Sucker Punch. That's ridiculous. Half. Wild Charge is going to fly through here. We're going to say bye-bye, Calyrex. We're not dealing with you. And then that should pretty much be GG. Who's he going to take out? Urshifu? Who's he going to take out? Urshifu here? He's going to go for a max strike. That's got to be Thunders, right? Hey, he's going to take out Thunders. That's no big deal because, you know, we know another Sucker Punch can just dump on this thing. We know another lovely little Sucker Punch can just dump on this thing. That's going to be GG's. Your boy is going to start off 1-0, which is a gorgeous little game. Our Sunlight does fade, and I'm still surprised he did not bring Venusaur. Like, I feel like the team... I, I feel like maybe he thought I was going to go into uh, Darmanitan, and Darmanitan could... Dump on a Dynamax Venusaur, G Max Venusaur, in one shot with his missile crash. So I feel like that might have been posing a threat to him. I feel like he was just like, yeah, I'm not dealing. I'm not dealing with it. But we didn't even bring him at all. We're gonna go for a close combat here. We're gonna go for a sucker punch. Sucker punch is pretty much all we need. That's gonna be GG's. Does he just cancel battle? Does he cancel battle? Or is he like, maybe I can eat up a shot, which you will not be able to? Because my big old punchy bear is gonna rip on you. Punchy bear, dude. That's so much to name that that uh urge for that. Punchy bear. Punchy Bear comes in here, Sucker Punch comes through. Like I said, it's going to pick up the KO all day long. There it is. GG's. 1-0 to get this video started. Let's hop into a second. Let's go back to back. Let's go back to back, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping into battle number two, going up against a Zacian and Solgaleo team that also features Galarian Moltres, Rillaboom, Thunderous, and Porygon too. Okay, I feel like Darmantan can be really, really good here. Super effective up against the Thunderous, the Rillaboom, the Moltres. Gotta love it. I'm gonna lead him and I'm gonna also lead the Calyrex just in case he wants to pop into a trick room with Porygon too. I'm gonna pop that maybe in prison. I really do like that. So, you know, I'm gonna lead them too. Or I could taunt him. I could go into a taunt with Wimpy That could also be solid, but I just feel like imprisoning with the trick room is really, really good. I do like that. So, yeah, we're gonna go with them too. We gotta bring Zacian. And last but not least, do I go Thunderous? Or like a Dynamax Bond? I'm kind of leaning towards that. Thunderous is really good. We could go Urshfu, but yeah, I really like Thunders. Just in case we need a Pokemon to Dynamax, I can just rock into that Pokemon and go from there. I can just go from there and we can just get rolling. We can just get rolling. But yeah, battle, battle number one went pretty well for us. I feel like we, we kind of kept him in like a position where he couldn't really Dynamax, and then when he Dynamax, it was already too late. The battle was over. We were just chipping up damage from there, but let's see if we can get Darmantan some work in here. I would love it. Let's see where he goes. He goes Porygon 2, and that's exactly why, and he's going to go uh, Robin. So you know what? I'm just going to imprison Trick Room, and if he wants to pick me out, he can pick me out. I'm going to choice into an Icicle Crash. Choice into my lovely, lovely, lovely Icicle Crash. Yeah, you know what? It's kind of scary. The Grassy Guy can do me dirty. The Grassy Guy could definitely do me dirty. Yeah, I got I to imprison the Trick Room. The Trick Room's got to go. We got to imprison that Trick Room. We got to. We got to. I'd love to switch the terrains. The terrains would be a beautiful switch. Would be a beautiful switch. But yeah, we're just going to go here. Drop this into you. And I'm going to imprison Trick Room. In prison, trick room. I was like, hey, nobody can use the moves that we're using. Get on out my face. We're not dealing with it. They got some come through here. Yeah, I'll eat. Right into Darmantan. That's wow. Wow, that damage is ridiculous. That damage is ridiculous. When you're there, he cannot trick room. Okay, beautiful. All right, so now the problem here is going to be uh, aggressive guy will take out Darmantan. So I wish I had to protect, but you know what? I'm just going to swap into you. I'm going to hard swap into you, and I'm just going to go into an Astro Barrage. Or do I go into Expanded Force? What's going to do more damage? 80. Well, yeah, we're just going to do this and try to chip up some damage on the Rillaboom. This Rillaboom just kind of poses a threat. I'm not dealing with the Grassy Guy coming into Darmantan. I really am not. So I'm going to swap it. I'm probably going to Dynamax next turn and just roll out from there. The big old swap from us. I'm predicting the Grassy Guy coming across here, right? Who's going to... We could have dumped on him. We could have killed him. We could have did him so dirty. We could have did him so dirty. Now my face! Oh no, that's PZ. Okay, I thought it was gonna be real boom. PZ Dynamaxes. PZ's actually solid on the Dynamax form. I'll give him that all day. PZ's a little scary. 
Easy can be scary. Let's see what he does from here. Grass guy coming in. Cool. Grass guy going into yeah the dark man that slot. Yeah, we, we had to make that play all day. Ashabash coming through here. And I don't know what I should do here. I might have the Dynamax next turn. It really depends who uh PZ goes after. Phantasm gonna fly here. Yeah, it's gonna do some damage on me. We do not like that one bit. Not one bit. It's gonna drop our defense too, isn't it? Doesn't it? We have Sash, which is gorgeous. Sash is gonna come out of here. And my defense is gonna drop. And I'm defiant. So yeah, we're definitely Dynamax. Dynamax this boy. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna Dynamax him. Um, he's probably gonna Grass Guide into my uh He's gonna he's definitely gonna grass guide into my uh Actually I could change terrain. Yeah, let's change terrain. Go here. Let's max lightning. If he wants to grass guide into my uh my what's it called, that's fine. If he wants to grass guide into my Calyx, that's fine. We'll change terrain, then get our Mantan out here and roll out. But yeah, we're just gonna change up the strain. If I had protect I would, but I do not. I'm rocking in prison, which in prison worked one or something. So it was a great play by me to actually go into the uh the Calyrex here and in prison because I just had a feeling I was just like just in case he wants to bring Porygon too We have to bring his Calyrex to be able to prison. I was gonna taunt it, but again, he has fake out with the uh, With the real boom. So it was a great call by us Great call by us, but I have to Dynamax the Thunders at 176 and he goes to Grass Guide on that and I actually really like that. I actually really like that turn I actually really like that We're gonna be able to hit here and I wonder if is Porygon gonna allow my Calyrex to get some more turns out here that would be gorgeous. I don't mind if Thunders goes down here after he gets off this Max Lightning. He's plus one. This could do a nice amount of damage, even though this thing is pretty bulky. He can still chip up. Look at that. Look at that. That's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous turn for us. It's a gorgeous turn for us. We change up terrain, and who is Porygon going for? Oh, he might be going for a Hailstorm for Buffett to take us out. That might be his play, right? No, he still he sticks to the Phantasm, and he's going to take out Thunders. All right. I'm cool with that. I am actually cool with that. Actually cool with that. Actually cool with that. At this point, I could bring out Zacian. Right? Who's he gonna bring out here? He has Soul Galio. He has Zacian. I think I just bring out my Zacian here. Great. Take it all day. I'll bring out my Zacian. Save my Darmantan for the back. I like that. I like that. He's probably gonna throw out Zacian of his own. Oh, Soul Galio comes out here. I'm more than cool with that. I'm more than cool with that. My Calyrex can rip into that. My Calyrex can do him dirty, but I'm just going to go into this. Because Behemoth Blade should be able to take out. And Astro Barrage should just be able to dump on Solgaleo. We have speed all day. I don't think they have any first turn priority moves, right? Why? Oh, wow. Okay, I'll give it to him. But still, like, that's just a waste of a turn. That's just a waste of a turn. Because Astro Barrage is going to get blocked. Zassine's going to go to next. And it's just going to uh, take out this Porygon, right? Behemoth Blade comes through. Nice little wide guard action. I'm with it. I'm with it. We're going to send this. Uh, he chip up some damage that way. And we're going to say later P2. The P2 drops out. That was a good wide guard by him. I give it to him all day. But I think I'm just going to stick into another Astral Barrage. I think I just keep posing that threat. And keep wasting turns with Solgaleo. Right? I feel like I just have to keep wasting turns with Solgaleo. Probably going to throw out Zacian of his own, right? Yeah, Zacian can come out here. I'm going to Behemoth Blade in that slot. I'm just going to drop more Astral Barrages. I'm just going to keep sending them. I just got to keep sending them. If I don't go for it and he and he, uh, and he he uh doesn't wide guard, then it's really just like a bad turn for us. So I'm just going to keep sending them. If he wants to wide guard again, he can wide guard again. That's totally fine. You can keep doing that. You can keep doing that. My is asking still full HP. He's doing some work. I'm going to keep sending them. Because once he doesn't wide guard, we take out his, his, uh, his boy right there. Take out his boy all day. And my Zacian outspeeds. Nah, unless it's just a speed tie. So we'll see. We'll see how this one plays. Behemoth Blade flies through here. Big old damage. Big old damage. We love it. Behemoth Blade's flying through, through here. And who are you going after? That's the quick real question. You can go after Zacian of his own. That's fine. That's just, he just crit me. It's ugly. That's ugly. But I still feel like we're, we're thriving here. He really just crit me there. He really just crit me there, dude. <laughs> are you serious? This game, dude. This game. Okay, so we're choice scarf. What are we gonna choice into? Flare butts? Might as well, right? We're gonna choice into the flare butts there, and we're just gonna keep dropping astral barrages. I think we still should be fine here. He's gonna wide guard again. That's that's fine. That's fine. You can do that all day. This flare butts outspeeds. We take out Zacian. 
That's fine. Because now we're sitting here. Now it's either like, if he doesn't wide guard, we're landing Astro Barrages. If he does, he wastes his turn, and I'm just sending Flare Blitzes his way. So that pretty much wraps up this battle, right? That pretty much wraps up this battle. He Did he Dynamax? Yeah, he Dynamax. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, did he? I'm trying to think. Did he Dynamax? What Pokemon does he have? Yeah, he Dynamax to P2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Flare Blitz going to fly through here. We're going to keep sending our Astro Barrages, just posing a threat there. Like I said, I did not mind if he keeps going for Wide Guard. We kind of had this battle set up. But he canceled the battle. There it is. 2-0. Oh. Let's hop into a third. Look for the perfect record. Can your boy do it? Can your boy Jeans grab himself the perfect record? I hope so. We're going up against a Trick Room team right here. That means I'm bringing Calyrex to sleep. We will imprison it all day. I'm with it all day. He has the Mimikyu. He has the Ndidi. The top of Finny. Arcanine, who's really cool. Arcanine's pretty good in Dynamax form, too. It learns a fairy move. Has great coverage moves, too. And it can uh, learn Justified. So, is there a beat-up Pokemon here that I that I do not see? Does Mimikyu learn beat-up? I feel like Mimikyu learns beat-up. So, we can, it could definitely be a Justified Arcanine. But he has a Calyrex in Trick Room. That's, like, my main focus here. So, I'm going to lead my uh, my Calyrex to try to imprison that. We can also go Darm Darmantan as lead. I'm looking at a lot. But, again, if he brings out that... What's it called? It's very annoying. Brings out that Robin for lead. That's very, very annoying. It's super annoying. Hmm. That's my play. Who do I lead with this? I really want to lead Darman. I just like Darmantan. I just like Darmantan. I'm going to lead Darmantan. I'm going to get ripping with Logan. Darmantan's going to poke here, and we're going to go into Sassian and... I like Thunders. I really do like Thunders. Or we go into Urshfu. Have fun with this one. Now, yo, Thunders is just too good. He's too good with this team. He's a big old Life Orb Pokemon. We got to bring him. We got to bring him when we're looking for one. So, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. But I, I'm i hoping he's not leading Logan. I just want to get Darmantan some love out here. He did do good in that last battle. He did really good in that last battle. And we swapped him at the perfect time. He just poses such a big threat that everybody wants to target him down due to his Gorilla Tactics and that Choice Guard. Most people know he's rocking that moveset. So, let's see who he goes into. He's going to go in the Mimikyu and... Ah! hate this game. I'm going to swap right now. I think I'm just going to swap because I'm not dealing with it. I'm going to imprison. I'm going to swap. And we're going to get rolling out from there. I play all day. That is my play all day. We'll swap it right now. I'm I, I'm not dealing with the. We know the fake outs come across. If you go into Zassian, Zassian's solid. Zassian would be gorgeous. Zassian would be gorgeous this play. I'm with it. Go here in prison, and we're just gonna swap hard. Dude, like you gotta be faking out. You gotta be faking out. There's there's no doubt in my mind. She's trying to pop the trick room all day, just like her last spin. So prison is going to come in clutch again. I think Rollaboom. I think really not dealing with it. I'm just not dealing with the fake out and then the grass guy next turn take on my Darmanth I'd rather swap now and go from there. And she's gonna oh he's gonna straight up pop a grass guy. Wow. We just got outplayed. We just got outplayed. We just got outplayed, dude. We just got outplayed hard. Hard ain't the word for it. We just got outplayed. Ridiculously. Ridiculously outplayed. I could have dumped on the roll boom. But what a play by him. I'll give it to him all day. But from here, you know what? I'm going to change up terrain. And I'm going to take off the skies. We're, sure, we're going we're to take out Mimikyu. We're going to take out Mimikyu here. I'm changing terrain. Now I'm taking out Mimikyu. Wow. What a play. What a play! I'll give this dude that was an amazing play. I'll give it to him all day. Shadow Sneak and Grass Guide into my calendar. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a play. Two first turn priority moves to dump on me. And I swapped, so I got no value out of that turn. If I didn't swap, I could have just taken out Robin. We, we could have been thriving. We could have been thriving. Because if Calyx would have went down, I still would have had Darmanthan. I would just obviously left him out in the field. And then I would have brought out my boy, uh, Thunder's here and just get ripping. He's gonna withdraw Mims. He's gonna withdraw Mims. Who's he gonna go into here? Indeedy. Wow, this guy's gonna be soaking up shots. He's switching up terrain on his own. We're gonna, we're gonna switch it up here again. See what he does. See what he does. The psychic seeds are popping, but that's for special defense boost. Our boy are all physical. We're all about that physical attack stat. So we're gonna roll out here. This one's gonna be tough, dude. That first play, like, a play like that could really, like, we need battles. Like, he's sitting in such a good spot now. We had to get rolling here. But I think we can definitely take out Indeedee here, right? 
I think Indeedee's gonna drop out here, but I wonder what Robo's gonna do. Is he just gonna stand and send glides left and right? Is that his play? I wonder what he's gonna do here. Behemoth Blade's gonna fire. Send it, baby. Send it. It should do a decent amount of damage. Not kill it, but still. Should allow my Thunders to come in here and take it out with a uh, Thunder. Yeah. It's nice, nice. Thunder's gonna come out here, and we're gonna take that thing out. So he's gone. We do not get swept, which is gorgeous. And I think he rolls back into Mimikyu. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I think he's going to roll into his next Pokemon and go for the Dynamax. Let's see. But I, th I think he's trying to like set himself up where he can get off a trigger. I don't know. High, ho high Horsepower can come through here. We should be able to soak that. Gorgeous. Yep. He soaks. Love it. And he's going to throw out his next Pokemon, which I believe is going to be his Kalos, right? I think it's going to be his Kalos. Is Kali the Kalorex going to come out here? Or is he going back into Mims? He's going to go back into Mims. Okay, so Mims comes back out here. He's got to be going for that, uh... Good sub, but he's got to be going for that, uh, Tricker. I'm going to double down into it. I'm not allowing him to set up Tricker, because I'm not really worried about the Robin too much. Once I get out there, Mantan, you know, I should crash. Bang. See you later. He's going to withdraw, so he, he wants to get his Robin back out here. He's going to go into Royal Master, who is... Arcanine comes out here. Okay. Arcanine comes out here. We're gonna take out this uh we're gonna take out this Mimikyu, no problem. I thought he was gonna look for Trick'em all day. I did think he was looking for Trick'em all day. Can we actually take out this Mimikyu with this? It's gonna be a great turn for us. If we can, I don't know if we can. It'll be kinda close. Airstream coming through. It's stab, it's life form. Should be able to, right? Oh no! Do what you mean! <laughs> no! Yo, come on. Don't pop a trick room. Do not pop a trick room. Do not pop a trick room. Please, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me Leave me alone. Dude, are you kidding me? Should've went for the lightning, dude. Should've went for the lightning. I want to hurt so bad. All right, I'm not really going to worry about the Mimikyu. I got to get off damage on this guy. Wow, dude. You mean, dude? What you mean? That hurts. That one hurts. That one hurts so bad. Because we take out him. He doesn't have Trick Room. He's going to bring back out Robum. And then we can just kind of... Like, I wasn't even going to worry about it. Because again, yeah, like I said, we take out him. He's forced to bring out Robum. And then we just... We just lighting and we change up terrain. And we kind of just take battle from there. But dude, this Mimikyu soaks. Mimikyu soaks. Beat up. There it is. No, <laughs> no, there's the beat up combo. The justified rolling out here, dude. I love Arcanine. Arcanine was super, super strong back in like series one, two, and three. I remember when I first started playing this game. Beat up Arcanine or justified Arcanine was phenomenal because it rocks a fairy move. It can rock an electric move. Obviously, it's stab fire move. It has great different move pulls from it. It's just a really cool and good Pokemon. I like it a lot. He's going to go into a flare. Who are you taking out here? That's the real question. He's going to go for Thunders. Can we eat that? No, no way. Yeah, no. So we die out there. He's gonna bring back out uh We're all gonna bring back out Darmantan, which could be pretty good. And Darmantan gets some work done here. It really depends how much damage our uh our Zassine's gonna do here. Probably not too much, right? I think he's orbed as well. Close combat's fine through it. You no, nothing too special there. I'm gonna and I'm forced to bring out Darm. If Darmantan can come out here, I think I'm gonna have to go for a rock side here. Definitely go for a rock slide. Oh, that one hurts. That one hurts. That one hurts. We gotta go into grill tactics here. Let's go into a rock slide. See this? Ah, dude, 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 this game, this game, this game. And we're dropping another close combat. Run it. Run it, baby. Go for Shadow Sneak. I think he's trying to take out, or he's just chipping up damage on him. I think he wants to take out Zassian here. He's gonna go for Flare. Actually, take out Zassian. No, he takes out Darm. I really wanted Zassian to go out. Because Darm was like our last little little ditch effort here. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul, dude. Close combat fights are in. This thing lives on one. What you mean? <laughs> We're dead. That's GG's. I can run the battle. Wow, dude. What a third and final battle. Legit game of like three HP. Look at the Mimikyu's HP. Look at the Arcanine's HP. That is nutty. And we had that Darmantan in the back. Kind of clean up that. What's it called? That real boom, but it's all good. We grab ourselves a winning record, most importantly.
There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful winning record for today's video with this amazing Choice Scarf Gorilla Tactics Darmanitan team. I absolutely loved it. I felt like it was great all around, and it's definitely a team that you guys can use to push high ranks. It has very good Pokemon like Zassi and Calyrex. Darmanitan is phenomenal when you get him in certain situations. Same thing with Choice Band Urshfu. It just hits like a truck and can dominate, and then, you know, Wimscott and Thunderous are meta Pokemon. They're really good and great in most situations. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos could live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.